What's up all and welcome back to the channel. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to integrate a POS onto your WordPress websites. As you guys know, if you guys are running a food ordering website, the POS integrations out there are kind of lacking, right? There are standalone plugins out there that operate as POS, but they're not really like the all-in-one solution, you know? Today in this video, I'll introduce you guys to a free plugin that is the all-in-one solution. It acts as a point of sale system, it has registers, and it even has a cash register that you guys can use. So let me go ahead and give you guys a walkthrough and just give you a, you know, a general overview about how to use this plugin. So this is the plugin that we'll be using. It is called the Oliver POS system, customer portal hub, and so on and so forth. Now, this is again, a free plugin and you guys can go ahead and download it uh, in the wordpress.org repository. Uh, it's a brand new plugin and uh, you know, just by it being brand new, it has more than a thousand active installs and it's actually really simple to use. So let me go ahead and give you guys a quick walkthrough about this plugin and just talk about how it all works. So you guys can actually go to oliverpos.com. Uh, there is a link below to this website. I'm not an affiliate, you know, so if you guys do use the link, don't matter to me, <laughs> you know, I don't make any money. I'm just showing you guys this because it's a really awesome service. So uh, here we go. We'll go ahead and click on the uh, get started right here. Now I actually have created a food ordering website tutorial and I'm actually integrating all of these products into Oliver POS. If you guys do want to watch that video, I will go ahead and leave a link below to this food ordering website tutorial. I'm also going to create a part three series of this video where I'll be showing you guys how to create a uh, food ordering multi vendor uh, websites. And that also includes uh, delivery app drivers as well with even tracking and SMS notifications. It's crazy. It's really, really good. So I uh, highly recommend to watch that. I will leave those in the description of this video for you guys. But once you guys go ahead and integrate the Oliver POS, it will then bring you to a, um, well, this is your account right here. I'll have to go ahead and log in. So I'll go ahead and click on sign in now and then I'll click on sign in. Now this is the same exact process, right? So once you guys install the plugin, it will then start to sync up all of the products onto your, um, onto the application, right? So it's going to pull all of the products from your WooCommerce store onto the Oliver platform, right? And right here, I will click on manage my shop. So once you guys are here, you guys will be brought to your uh, customer hub, right? So there's two different platforms. There is the customer hub. This is where you guys can view all your analytics, check out the apps, and there's also the register. The register is where all of the actual manual, you know, action happens, right? Where you start uh, taking cash and credit cards and so on and so forth. So here we go. You know, we got the hub right here. And with the hub, you guys can take a look at your customers. It's actually funny, you know, people are, are finding this website uh, because I talked about it in my Facebook group and now there's like random people that are just trying it. It's pretty funny, uh, but yeah, that's that. So you guys will get a list of all your customers. And then over here we have payment types. Here you can see how much cash you've accepted on your website and also how much card payments you've accepted on your uh, website as well. I'm sorry, cash on your store and then cards on your website. Duh, I had that backwards. So uh, next we have the Oliver applications. What's great about the Oliver POS uh, system is that it has various integrations, right? Uh, there are other various uh, plugins out there and they're kind of like standalone and they don't have these sort of integrations. Uh, I actually had a big phone call with this company and uh, I asked them, I says, hey, you know, if you were a YouTuber, um, which one would you recommend, you know? And they actually recommended Fortis Pay. Fortis Pay is a company that will actually give you the hardware and it'll integrate it with your actual uh, Oliver uh, I guess all of our accounts, right? I actually have no experience with Fortis Pay whatsoever. Uh, you guys can call them, you know, you can go to their website, fortispay.com. I'll also leave a link to them as well. And they do actually give you the hardware. But before that, I also do want to show you the all of our POS hardware that they offer as well. But I uh, hear you guys can go ahead and integrate Stripe, you can integrate PayPal and other various uh, payment services. They also do have an integration for the Amelia plugin, which is, I believe, a booking plugin. So I'm very interested to see how this works out with uh, booking and, uh, you know, POS. Maybe you guys can book appointments through the POS, which is actually very interesting. And then over here, we also do have reports as well. Uh, here you can see your financial reports where you can see, you know, just an overview about like how much money you've made. You can see the sales, the refunds, you know, how much tax and so on and so forth, right? And then over here, of course, we have like general settings where you can adjust some of the general settings for your uh, for your store. Let's go ahead over here and click on launch register. Now this is the actual interface that your actual employees or yourself will have to um, operate inside of the store. Here we have a pin. 
I'll go ahead and enter my secret pin here. Here we go. All right. Now the pin actually gives you access to the register. So here we go. Now these products have all been pulled from my uh, e-commerce store. So over here, you can see we have Greek salad, premium chicken nuggets, salmon steak, and the whole roasted chicken. So what it does here is that it actually pulls all of the products onto the Oliver POS app. So everything is here, it's neatly arranged, and you guys can decorate this as needed. For example, you can see that we have created categories, right? We have seafoods, appetizers, and meats. Yet I also do like this, this standalone tile option where we can just have the actual uh, food right there and your staff can just click on it and then that will actually be added to the actual cart. For example, right here, let's say, all right, we're inside of the store, right? My name is uh, Wilson, okay? And you come to me and, um, hey, Wilson, I wanna go ahead and order the Greek salad and I want a salmon steak. I'm Wilson, I'm like, all right, sir, you know, uh, I'll go ahead and add the Greek salad to the cart and the salmon steak. Would you like anything else? Would you like an appetizer? They say, you know what? Yeah, I want an appetizer. Give me a, uh, let's see what we got. Give me the premium chicken nuggets, all right? So all of the appetizer category will be displayed right here. So me as a employee, I'll say, all right, sir, uh, we'll go ahead and add in the uh, premium chicken nuggets. Would you like anything else? They say no. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and click on checkout. Sir, would that be cash or card? They'll say, you know what, uh, Wilson, we'll go ahead and pay cash for now. You know, we got 50 bucks, we'll go ahead and pay it. Now, if you guys actually connect the actual uh, hardware, you guys can use card and then you'll just go ahead and swipe the card and then it'll bring you to the actual thank you page or the actual like, I don't know, confirmation page, right? So I'll just go ahead and select cash. Uh, and let's say they gave me, uh, let's say they gave me 60 bucks, right? 320s, right? So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and backspace this and we'll put $60. Oh, wait, 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 hold, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 not 6,000, <laughs> here we go, 60 bucks, no, 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 that's too much, hold on, let's go ahead and go back over here, all right, I'm trying to make this look easy, and then I mess up, right, so 60, all right, and put an enter, so now it's telling me, all right, you have to give them $10 change, okay, sir, here's your $10 back, thank you so much, and then here, I'll add the payment. All right, and once that's done, you know, the, here's the receipt. Now we have the option to print the receipt, yet we can also email the receipt to the customer. And let's be honest, you know, whenever people give me the receipt, I just throw it away. I'm like, bro, just, I'm throwing this in the trash. Like, can you email it to me or something? So you can go ahead and send them an email receipt that will go directly to their email inbox. Once that transaction is finished, you will then click on new sale and you're all ready to start all over again. So it's a very convenient, very simple to use POS, and I really do like this. Now you guys might be asking yourself, well, you know, what about the actual, uh, the terminal, right? Because uh, when you guys are in the store, you guys do need to have a terminal or something to actually uh, accept the actual card, right? All of our POS actually offers their own uh, terminals as well. Uh, if you go to their website, uh, you can actually see their hardware. And I really do like this, you know, they look so modern, you know, like these look beautiful, you know, like this is what I'm saying with the Oliver POS, it's more of like an all-in-one solution. They have everything that you guys need. So we have the Oliver Mini, we have the Oliver Combo, and I like this, but this looks a little, it's like a combination of like the old style, like the, you know, and the ching, you know, and that's what it looks like. And they also have the Oliver Elite. They also do have other hardware for you. So for example, if you guys go to those uh, farmer's markets, or if you guys are outside, if you're like in Asia and you wanna do like, uh, you know, credit cards on the street, there you go. You got the Oliver Go where you can just take the actual uh, application, hook it up to your phone, and then you can take credit cards um, on, you know, anywhere on the go, which is, um, which is amazing. And then we have the cloud printer. I'm very interested to see how that works. Oliver scanner, a mini cash drawer, and take a look at this. Look at this, they have kiosks. Take a look at that. Over here you can see they have two different kiosks and I've actually seen this inside of stores and I've also seen this like at McDonald's, right? I think at McDonald's if you actually go, uh, it looks like they're using the Oliver Solo XL because this looks just like the actual kiosk inside of McDonald's. So if you guys are a larger corporate company, don't think that this is like, oh, Oliver POS is too small for me. I'm, I'm more of like a corporate blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, they have something for everybody, you know? So again, so even if you're a large corporate company, yeah, you guys can still use the Oliver POS uh, system. And these look great, right? So the reason why I like this company more, again, is because you can see that they're solely dedicated to food ordering. There are, you know, standalone plugins, like, you know, point of sale for WooCommerce, which has terrible reviews and YITH WooCommerce. But the thing is like these companies, they're not really geared for food ordering, right? They have 
other plugins that they support. And these are just more of like ideas that the developers have created. There's nothing wrong with these plugins, but there's no uh, terminals they offer. There's no phone support, nothing. So I really do like the fact that uh, all of our POS is probably one of the first companies that are acting more of like the all-in-one solution for food ordering websites. Uh, again, you guys can go ahead and download this plugin for free. It does not cost anything whatsoever. But now let's talk about pricing. How much is this gonna cost me, Daryl? How much of the thousands and thousands of dollars is this gonna cost me? No, it's actually really, really cheap. So over here, I'll go to pricing. Now, what's also really cool about all of our POS is they have a phone number and you guys can actually call them. Uh, you guys can actually call Fortis Pay as well. And I think some of these, um, I guess some of these terminals require you to call them just to give you a little bit more information about their business or about your business. And then from there, um, you know, they can go ahead and recommend something for you. So over here we have pricing, right? And if you guys wanna pay on a yearly basis, it's about $19 a month. And all it really gives you here is the custom app integration, the cash management, uh, staff management, uh, if you guys are a little bit more larger, right, your larger scale, you might want to go with their pro plan because that means you can have multiple registers. So usually if you're like just a restaurant or something, you probably just have one register, right? But if you're a much larger corporate restaurant, like, I don't know, Olive Garden or uh, what's that? What's that terrible restaurant in Arizona? Oh, Cracker Barrel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cracker Barrel. That's, that, that restaurant is a trip. <laughs> but if you're like a Cracker Barrel, uh, you guys can uh, go check out the, uh, the multiple registers. And then of course, if you're enterprise where you're a very, very, very large company, uh, you can go with your enterprise option. So even these pricing options are pretty suitable and pretty reasonable for pretty much anybody. So let me quickly show you guys how all of this works, right? So I'm gonna go to my food ordering website right here and I'm gonna go over to dashboard. I'm actually working on a website right now called kopicoffee.com. Uh, I plan on selling coffee and I'm actually running a, uh, I'm building a website right now for it. So I'm really excited to uh, create that. But over here under plugins, we'll just click on add new. Now, again, uh, this plugin is just more of a bridge, right? It's not necessarily doing anything in your backend. It's just, you know, it's basically an API. <laughs> you know, that's really what it is. It's an API key. So we'll type in Oliver. And here we go. So you will need to install this plugin right here. This is this is highlighted. The Oliver POS, a WooCommerce point of sale. Once you guys go ahead and install and activate this plugin, on the left side you will see the Oliver POS bridge. Let's go ahead and click on the Oliver POS bridge. All right, and uh, it's gonna give you uh, a few options right here. You guys can go ahead and launch the register from right here, and you guys can also launch the hub. You can also go ahead and book a meeting so you can actually talk to someone and get some, you know, get some advice. And, you know, if you don't know what you need, you can go ahead and call them. And I really, really do love that, that you can actually call them and talk to them on the phone because uh, with plug-in companies, they don't do that. And I think they should, and I really do like this. And they have some really cool looking hardware. You know, this actually inspires me to open up a restaurant because like this hardware just looks, <laughs> it just looks so cool, you know? Uh, so here we go. We have the Oliver Hub. Now remember, the Oliver Hub is more of a place where um, you check out your customers, the analytics, where you can mess around with the apps and integrations and all that stuff. The register, that's where all of the action's happening, right? Where you're actually taking in orders and so on and so forth. So here we go. We'll click on Manage My Shop. And here we go, Daryl Food. And this brings you to your dashboard where you can go ahead and see your sales, all of the food, uh, what's selling the most and so on and so forth. So I showed you guys this earlier. This actually just brings you right back to your hub where you can just go check out you know, everything and stuff like that. And then also if you guys want to launch the register, you'll just click on launch register here. And then it'll prompt you to create a pin. Now I have already created a pin number. So I'll just enter my pin number here and I'll just go ahead and bring me right back to the register. Now there is one thing that I do want to mention before I let you guys go is the extra fee. So uh, if you guys do wanna create extra fees, you guys will need to create a product in WooCommerce called extra fee. Uh, put it for like $1, don't put an image or nothing and also hide it. Uh, once you guys do that, you guys can use that extra fee for just like any multi-purpose fee in your store. So here we go. The customer walks into the store, says, Wilson, I would like a Greek salad with extra, extra tomatoes. Now, I don't have extra tomatoes on my menu, obviously. Maybe my boss forgot to add it, or maybe it's just a custom order. So I'll say, all right, sir, uh, we'll add in the Greek salad. And for the extra tomatoes, it's gonna be one extra dollar, sir. Is that okay? They're gonna say yes. Hopefully they say yes, right? 
and then we add in the extra fee and then we go ahead and check out as usual. So that's how you guys can also add pretty much any sort of extra service onto your POS system. So if you guys are running a food ordering website, I would definitely check out the Oliver POS system. It has everything that you guys need, right? It has the registers, it has the POS software. And if you're a large corporate company, it has those really nice looking kiosks that you guys can use for your uh, restaurant or establishment or whatever. And if you guys have not seen my food ordering tutorial, how dare you? There is a link below to check it out where I have a food ordering tutorial and also a multi-vendor food ordering tutorial. And it also integrates with delivery app drivers. So like, for example, like you can actually run a store and then have people just pick stuff up and deliver it. It's really incredible. You guys gotta watch it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you know, it brought a lot of value. If you guys do need help again, you guys can always give them a phone call, which is amazing. So I'll see all you guys later.